Good evening, everyone. I'm Kelly Page, the lifestyle blogger, Blue Gray Gal, and I thought I would do an impromptu Amazon Live video talking about removing your makeup uh, when you have really dry skin. I am 42 years old. My skin has been changing as I get older. So much fun, right? So uh, it's been getting drier as I get older. Plus you add winter to it and you add the fact that I use retinol products and all sorts of dry scaly things going on there. So I have decided uh, to share with you guys my regime I've adopted over the years um, to remove my makeup and keep it soft and bouncy and soft and ready to absorb all that amazing retinol, tretinoin uh, ingredients at night. Okay, so the first thing, we're gonna talk about two different products. The first one I've highlighted here is the LME Cleansing Balm. This is a new discovery for me. My original tried and true makeup remover was the Clinique Take the Day Off. Both equally awesome, but I'll tell you the difference between the two of them. Both of them remove the makeup beautifully, beautifully. Uh, and I use them as like a first cleanse. I definitely do a double cleanse when I clean my makeup and at the end of the day to make sure everything's off. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is the Elemi Cleansing Balm. Okay, right off the bat, you guys, this smells like heaven. It smells like a spa. For those of you who cannot get to a spa right now, three kids still homeschooling, this will bring the spa home to you. It just smells like citrus and eucalyptus and mint. It's like you just relax the second you smell it. If you don't love fragrance, then the LME Cleansing Balm is not for you. If you don't mind fragrance, then you will love it. Okay, the liquid, it, it's, a, it's a balm. So it's almost got like a thick honey texture to it. It's, um, it melts into like almost like an oil base and it smooths on your skin. I'll show it how it goes on soon, but I want you to kind of see the difference in like the consistency of it. So there's the consistency. The consistency is a big difference, as is that amazing smell. This is my favorite way to end the day because I just like, there's something about smells for me. It like puts my shoulders down and I calm down. That's why I love this. Until I discovered that, I use the Clinique Take the uh, Day Off, which is phenomenal too. This one I would use if you don't love fragrance. This has no fragrance to it at all, like nothing. Not one iota, nothing going on there with smells. So if you want something really simple, this works just as well as that does, okay? So everything's highlighted below. You can click it and put it in your cart from this, um, podcast. Okay, so the difference between this one is the texture is a lot thicker, um, less creamy, more, um, the word isn't pasty, but it's, this is kind of more moldable and this is kind of thick and you see how this, you see the difference? I don't, I can't find the right words right now, but um, both of them go on really nicely and both of them work amazing, but two different textures one smells, one doesn't smell, okay? We recommend them both highly, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how I put those on and remove it. But then after that, I wanna go through um, the what I put on afterwards to keep my skin um, wrinkle-free. <laughs> Is that even such a thing as you age? Wrinkle-free, whatever. But I use um, retinol products. I use a prescription tretinoin but I also have decided to add this to my uh, repertoire. It's amazing. It's the Elizabeth Arden Retinol Capsules. If you're new to using retinol, this would be an awesome place to start with. If you are using tretinoin, this is a great way to add um, that product and that, that medicine to your um, regimen without it overkilling your skin. I love this. Okay, so we're gonna put that on next after this. And then we're going to talk about two different eye creams that I use. I have a few eye creams that I kind of bounce around with. Uh, one is the Advanced Ceramide Elizabeth Arden Capsule. And the other one is one I've used forever called the Bobbi Brown e Extra Eye Repair Cream. This is the extra version, like boom, boom, boom. 
lots of extra going on. All right, so let's take off our makeup, everybody. Let's kind of go through this process. And again, everything is highlighted below. You should also be able to follow me if you want to follow me so that you know um, whenever I do these live segments. Anyway, it'd be nice if you followed. Okay, uh, Elizabeth Arden Cleansing Balm. All right, we're gonna put it on, on this side of the face. That was way too much. You do not need much. That's why this stuff will last you a long time. You really don't need that much. I used, I don't know, less than a quarter, like a, like a dime size, I guess. And it's like melts all over your skin. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, it's delicious. And you just sort of work it around. I have on false eyelashes right now. That's why I'm not gonna put it on my eyes but it takes off all your eye makeup remover so gently. So you really don't have to do any other product to remove your makeup, okay? I'm literally putting on this on half my face, okay? But you see how much it's spread around? That amount would cover my whole face if I wanted to. Works really, really well, but man. Oh, you guys gotta smell this to believe it. Okay, so there's that. And then we're going to use the Clinique one on the other side of my face. So this has the LME Cleansing Balm on this side. Can't get over how it smells. And then we're going to put the Clinique Take the Day Off. Everything's linked below for you guys, so just click it if you want to get it. Can't recommend it enough, truly. I've, this one I've used for four years. This one I've been on a kick for about six months. Okay. Um, all right, so this one goes on. It goes on and it melts just like the other one does. It just doesn't have the same smell. So this is a great fragrance free option, but it does the exact same thing. They both really melt into the skin, loosening up all the oil from your makeup, getting all that powder off, all your mascara, even your waterproof mascara. And again, I have on false eyelashes, so I'm not gonna touch my eyelashes, but it'll even get off waterproof mascara which is pretty darn cool so you only really need one product also not that anybody's really traveling right now but if you were both of these travel so well you can get them in travel size too or just pack it like this um and you don't have to bring anything else to remove your makeup it's so nice okay um i linked also if you look below gray washcloths you guys should buy what like gray washcloths to remove your makeup that way, you know which ones are the ones that will remove your makeup um, and not get them dirty. And then also won't show all that makeup junk on your white washcloths. So I buy like a pack. See how many washcloths you get for the price? Like $17.99. There's like 17,000 five-star reviews for those washcloths. Just get a giant pack of them and then you'll know those are your makeup ones. But everything just sort of comes right off. And... I use washcloths because it's already naturally exfoliating. It gives you like a little bit of a, a buff that day without it being too hard on your skin. For what it's worth, the Kardashians also swear by washcloths. <laughs> Not that means much, but they do have great skin. Okay, so that's all I do. I use really warm water when I take off my makeup because I think it opens up the pores and gives them a chance to open and breathe and get everything out so that's all i do i do usually use a double cleanse of either cetaphil um hold on i can hear my husband coming husband maybe not i'm doing a quick video i'll be out in just a second okay um i use either cetaphil or i use the lme um makeup cleanser to do like a second cleanse. Can I have some privacy? <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, so that's it. Let me show you. I don't have any cotton swabs, but here I'll use a white towel to show you. Look, white towel. Nothing. Nothing's on there. See? Look, I, makeup is gone. i telling you this will get rid of all of it. If I had on mascara, I would show you how it's getting rid of mascara. But that's it. Both of those things are amazing products. The Clinique Take the Day Off. Uh, excuse me, let me make sure it's highlighted. Clinique uh, Take the Day Off. 
which is the fragrance free option or the LME pro collagen cleansing balm. Both of those make your skin feel so soft and bouncy and it's clean, but it's not squeaky clean and it's not dry. It just feels fresh and still supple, which is really important to me because a lot of the products I use are the anti-aging products and those can be really drying on your skin. So this helps retain the moisture. Okay, so let's move on and um, I'm gonna show you guys the retinol that I've been adding to my regimen. It's the Elizabeth Arden Retinol Ceramide Capsules. I used to use these when I was young um, and then I kind of got caught up in other sort of hyped products for a while and then I've rediscovered them and I remember why I love them. First of all, let's go back to like basics. They're individually packaged, which means there's no oxygen getting in there. There's no moisture getting in there. You're getting 100% potency of the ingredient inside every capsule. You know how sometimes like you open a bottle and you put the dripper in? Well, oxygen's getting in there. Moisture's getting in there. Things from your fingers are getting inside of it, which is diluting the product, adding some bacteria to the product, changing the consistency. This is already pre-packaged to have the exact same amount of the formula and the same potency in every single capsule. Can you see Ollie behind? <laughs> so that's one of the main reasons I love it is that you know you're getting exactly what you're buying every single time you put it on. Uh, secondly, I love that it's pre, like it's like a serving size. It's the perfect amount. You know exactly how much you should be using on your skin. You don't have to take, take the guesswork out of it. There's a product I love, um, but I never knew how much to use it. And I found that I overused it because I didn't know how much, uh, too little, too more, too much. So this is really nice. It takes the guesswork out of it. So you can't beat it, honestly. And you also know that if you're buying 30 capsules, you have 30 days, 60 day capsules, 60 days. The product isn't gonna run out before those days, which is really nice because you can average it out. I think this averages out to about a dollar three a day. Uh, depending on if you buy the 90 pack, I think it's like 90 seconds a day, which is great. Um, I mean, 90 seconds on your day to help you like look great. Uh, sign me up all day. Okay. So this is the retinol. Um, I use a tretinoin cream usually, uh, two times a week, sometimes three times a week, but interspersed with that, I use this another one to two times a week, just because it's a little bit of a lower potency than my, um, prescription but it gives me that great anti-aging treatment. Okay, so this has a really um, thick, gooey consistency. You always wanna use retinol at night because retinol breaks down during the day in sunlight. So you have to put retinol on at night so that it'll have it a chance to work. Um, because this is not a prescription there strength by the way you want to put it on your chest your neck and like paint yourself with it I also tend to take a little bit of it at the end and put it on the top of my hands because I want my hands to stay pretty and then I kind of hit like a tiny bit in here but there's like the perfect amount of this in there like I'm all done but I've covered my neck chest and my hands so that's the Elizabeth Arden ret uh, retinol ceramic capsules those are linked below too you can buy it in the 30 pack, 60 pack, and the 90 pack. You get the best value for the 90 pack. And honestly, with retinol, guys, that's like the only proven thing to do anything. Retinol is the only thing that's really proven to be worth anything. So just go all in on the 90 pack. You're going to really like it. You're not going to want to stop because every single person I ever see who has beautiful skin, I ask them what they use, and they always say they use retinol. And they used it starting in their 30s and they never quit. So I'm all in on retinol. It's truly the only thing that's been proven. And I really like this consistency because it works well with my prescription strength. But it's great for you, those of you who might have um, more delicate skin and you've tried the strength, the strong strength and it didn't work for you. If it didn't work for you, maybe that was too strong. This is perfect because it's like a great balance of being a high potency product without being over the top. I think it's awesome. And um, there's no smell to it. It feels silky smooth going on your skin. 
and I don't have any issues with my skin getting too pink or too red or drying out. But again, I also use these products to wash my face with. Let's go back to those two things. Um, this helps prep the skin for the retinol. It's already nice and moisturized and not dry so that when you put the retinol on, they just work together beautifully. Love them. Can't recommend it enough. So you guys, I would throw in the retinol in your cart and get it. Um, the thing about retinol is that it builds and lasts over time. So the more you use it, the more you'll see the long lasting benefits of retinol. So it's not something you're going to see a result of for like the first five, six days where like a hyaluronic acid will give you like great bounce and boost. Those are great for every day. This is the forever ingredient and product that you want to have to keep you looking good. I mean, I'm 25 and I've been, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, so that's my big pitch on the Ceramide capsules because I just, there's so much oxygen that can get into a jar that has a dropper. Um, I've used other products before that have um, CE ferulic acid, if you're familiar. Fantastic. But oxygen can change the chemical makeup of it. So what I love about these capsules, and I'm swearing by so many of their different types of capsules, that's for sure. Um, I'll talk about those another day, but it's 100% potency inside of it. There's no oxygen in there. There's no water. There's no moisture. There's no bacteria getting inside of it. And it's pre-measured for you. Can't say enough. That's the retinol. Honestly, this smells amazing. I think you should get it. If not, get this one because this is phenomenal. And then this. All right, so let's move on to, okay, so we put on our retinol. We're going to let it soak for a few minutes. Um, we're going to move on to our eyes. The um, two choices I have for you guys tonight, and I use both, are, again, the Elizabeth Arden uh, Ceramide capsule. The um, few, few things about this. One is um, the same kind of level product. Really works really well. It's very serum-y. So it's very liquidy. I'm going to open one for you guys to see. It's, um, all right, see here. Let's see, can you kind of see? It is very, very, very liquidy in its consistency. So this is not what I would use at night. This is like a heavy dose of serum, which is awesome if you have dry skin. It's awesome. But this is definitely not something that you're going to put on during the day. You're going to want this to soak in at night. This one comes with so much stuff. Like you don't need all of this, but I'll use it. So I kind of put it in here and then I kind of take it all the way out to my crow's feet. But if you're having one of those days where your skin feels extra dry, I tend to turn to this one just because it has that really nice oily, serum-y consistency. And then... I kind of hit my lips with the leftovers. Um, if you want to try this, try this one in the 30 pack. This would be a good one to try in the 30 pack. The retinol, go ahead and get the 90, I'm telling you. But the 30 pack would be great to get to try that. Um, and this will be nice because it would last you a while. If you only use it two, three times a week, this will last you throughout the entire winter. So that's why I like that one. This one is the Bobbi Brown Extra Eye Repair Cream. Let me highlight that for you guys down below. This eye cream is the bomb. It's my favorite. My mother-in-law doesn't care for it, but a lot of people do. <laughs> no joke, research it. I'm not the only one screaming from the mountaintop that this is awesome. This is a Mac Daddy Heavy Moisture Creamy Eye Cream. I tend to use it at night and during the days that my um, skin feels uber dry. I It goes on well under makeup, don't get me wrong, it totally does, but it's a different consistency than this one. I tend to use both throughout the week. I use this on really, really dry days, I tend to use this on the everyday average eye day. Alright, so this is like, let's see if I can't show you, we're not talking a lightweight eye cream by any means. This is not your lightweight one. If you like lightweight eye creams, this is totally not for you. But if you want like a heavy dose of like uber cream, moisture, 
um, softness. Your skin needs to just drink. This is what I would totally get. Um, there's no fragrance. Um, when I put it on, I just kind of, it's not going to go on now because I put on that, that serum, but it just like whoo, soaks in. It's a fabulous eye cream and don't take my word for it. It's like a cult favorite. Tons and tons and tons of, of five-star reviews. I like both of these um, for different reasons. This is my heavy drink of water when I'm having super dehydrated days. This is my usual always go-to. I do have an eye cream I use during the morning that goes on well under makeup, and I'll talk about that on a different live segment. You can hit follow. I don't know how, but there's a way for you to follow me so that you know when I do these live videos. Um, it'd be great if you hit follow. Thank you if you do. Uh, but we'll talk about morning routines another time. Okay, so at this point, we have now taken off our makeup. We've put on our retinol. We've put on our eye cream. I've let the retinol soak into my skin. Typically, I put on my retinol, brush my teeth, floss, and then I do my treatment. I give it a good, I don't know, 10 minutes to soak in. Once you really can't touch it, it's soaked in. Once it's just sort of, they're gone. Okay, so right now, my forehead is feeling extra dry. I don't always put moisture on as or after, after my retinol, um, but right now, my forehead is feeling... I don't know why, and it's just my forehead, which is odd, um, but I'm going to highlight below. So we're going to top it off with the Oil of LA Regenerous um, Night Recovery Cream. I use a few different night creams. I chose this one because it's fragrance-free, and I think it's a really, really good one, and I think it's like amazing bang for your buck. So if you're going to spend some more money on the retinol, then a good moisturizer that's a great one, but more affordable will help balance off the cost. I think it's awesome. Guys, I have been using Oil of Lay Regenerous for 20 years, and I still don't give it up. I don't care. I mean, I get gifted a lot of things. I actually do, and I swear I still keep coming back to this just because it works and it's so good. This one is the Fragrance Free. My sisters love the Oil of Lay, but they have to use the Fragrance Free. So I'm linking that below. The consistency is um, somewhere in the middle. It's not too light and it's not too heavy. It definitely doesn't have a serum-y feel. Um, it has like a little bit of a bouncy texture to it. Totally no fragrance whatsoever. So I'm going to put this on at night. If you're just getting used to retinol, I totally recommend you use a moisturizer while you're getting used to it. Um, kind of see how your skin feels. But... If you're going to start off with retinol, I would use it maybe two, one time a week at first and then go to two times a week and then three times and see how your skin does. I don't think you'll have a problem with this version, um, more like the prescription retinol. So this just is a, like a really good creamy topping that feels so soft and it's like it doesn't feel light, but it doesn't feel heavy. It's like a perfect consistency for me to put on to kind of give my skin a good drink. So I've linked that below you guys for you to throw in your cart right now. It's only like $21 or something like that. And this jar has lasted me a long, long time. So, all right, you guys, that's kind of it. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Um, thank you for watching. You can hit follow below. Again, my name is Kelly Page and I'm a blogger called Blue Gray Gal, Blue B. B-L-U-E, gray, G-R-A-Y-G-A-L. I do a lot of Christmas decorations online. Like Christmas decor is my jam. So hit me up on Instagram or any of the other things. But thanks for watching, you guys. Have a good day.